You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. It's nearing the end of 2021. Like most families, we gather for the holidays. When we do, we always like to make the Polar Express hot chocolate. And we're gonna share that recipe with you today. I've got my two daughters and one of my grandsons presenting it for you. I know you're gonna enjoy it. But before we get started, I just want to take a quick moment to thank everybody who supported my channel. I started in August of this year, 2021, and we've grown to over 100 subscribers, which is no small feat today because there's over 37 million YouTube channels all competing for views. So anytime you view one of my videos, anytime you hit that like button, subscribe, or even leave a comment, it helps support the channel and I truly appreciate it. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. And with that, we'll get started. Hi, I'm Kellen. I'm Christy. And I'm Bryce. We're Paul Daddy's daughters. And, and I'm his grandson. And today, we are making the Polar Express hot chocolate. Yeah. Polar Express hot chocolate. This is like the ultimate hot chocolate. It's delicious and we've been making this for years. We only break it out during the cold weather and it's certainly cold outside. We're in Colorado right now where it's snowing. It'll be the perfect treat on a cold winter's night. I'm so excited. are y'all ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, so we start out with six cups of cold milk. Okay, we've got that poured in there. And then Kiki, if you will add, we've got one 14 ounce can of Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk and she's gonna pour that in there. And then first, I'm gonna let you put in, we've got a cup and a half of bittersweet chocolate chips. And the better quality chocolate chips that you use, the better your hot chocolate's gonna be, so you do not wanna skimp here. So if you'll just pour that in no. there. This is an easy recipe. It just, you just melt it on the stove top. And while you're doing that, we can make the whipped cream. We'll go ahead and add now, this is our heavy whipping cream. If you don't mind adding that. This is a cup and we're gonna add one half cup more. If you don't mind, just adding that. Then we right. cannot forget about the good vanilla. This is the good stuff. Mexican it? vanilla is the way to go. It really makes a big, big difference in your hot chocolate. So you, okay? Okay. Or a little bit more. Okay, you're a little bit <laughs> heavy here. Okay. And then we're gonna do about an eighth teaspoon of salt. Just there guess you go. We'll guess. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna take this to the stove top. We're gonna melt this down, and while this is melting, we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream. Let's do it. All right, let's get this going. Well, I'm just gently stirring it to, you know, help the chocolate chips melt and be incorporated into the whole recipe, so okay. that's about it. We just took this bowl out of the freezer. If you make it cold, it helps it come together faster. Okay. Awesome. So if you can give me a cup of heavy whip whipping cream, we're gonna add that to the bowl. And then we've got two tablespoons of confectioner sugar. Bryce, will you throw that in there, Mom? I got you. And then, Kiki, we're going to do a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once again, it's the good Mexican vanilla stuff. Perfect. Okay, now, Bryce, you can get this going, and then if you'll help, it could take some while. It's going to take several minutes to make this form mm -hmm. some peaks, and that's when you know it's good. <laughs> So we're about six, seven minutes into this, and look how thick it's getting. I know, I know. In fact, we probably can try it out. So All right. we can just kind of lift up our beaters and see we're getting some thick peaks stiff there. Peaks, yeah. And that's kind of what we want to see. So All you right. can do it, you know, if you want it a little bit thicker. But I think, Bryce, I think you did a good job, Charm. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. We're going to ladle some of our hot chocolate in. Oh, and then so a little cool. dollop of our whipped cream. All right. And here's the ultimate test. All right, one thing is really hot, but <laughs> another thing, it's really good. Like, I really like it. Delicious. Much better than the store brand. <laughs> and it was so easy. I know. Look, it didn't take any time at all. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Cheers. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And if you would, please like and subscribe to Paul Daddy's Blind Dog Barbecue. <laughs>